Coach, how was the first day? Great first day. Um, so excited to be back in Beagley Center. Um, you know, our two point, points of emphasis for today were communication and energy, and I thought they did a really good job of, of bringing both. Um, obviously, longer practices than what we're used to in the summer, um, but I thought we maintained our focus, we maintained our energy, um, and yeah, really good first day in the book. Yeah, Malia talked a lot about the pace. How do you think that was today? Yeah, I mean, we've been training all summer, all preseason to play much faster. So in order to do that, you got to train really hard. And uh, I give our, our young ladies a lot of credit. They were really bought into it. Um, but yes, right now I'm, I'm very uh, fixated on the pace, um, and they did a good job of that. You know, we'll, we'll clean it up. We had some turnovers, um, but I really like the pace that we play. Is a fast-paced offense something you really want to bring this season, or what do you, what do you kind of think? It's I think we've been able to recruit to it a little bit, you know, with the signees that, that were previously signed, and then you know the young ladies that we got out of the transfer portal. So um, our post players are, are very agile, very mobile. They can run the floor, um, and then we got some really good athletes that can get out and transition. So I do think it fits to us, um, but but you have to play, play smart when you play fast too. How do you think the new players have kind of been gelling so far, especially like today? I think they all have done a really good job. Um, you know, obviously there's a lot to work on. We have a lot, long way to go. Um, but again, they have bought into everything that we've thrown at them. Um, today was about competing as well. We did a lot of up and down, a lot of, lot of competition within our drills. And um, I thought for the most part, everybody did a really good job. Gotcha. And then personally, uh, what, what, how would you describe like your coaching style, do you think? Uh, positive, but intense, um, and a lot of passion. So, um, you know, anybody that knows me, you're going to have a a lot of passion in this gym, um, but also a lot, a lot of positivity, and I think this team really thrives off of that. How does that like offshoot on your players? Like, what are you seeing in them that you kind of see that you're bringing to them? Yeah, I think we, we talk a lot about next play mentality. You know, so um, you know, I started off today telling them no, what nobody was going to have a perfect practice, and you know, I think they took that to heart. And um, hopefully, you know, they play with that next next mentality. Um, you know, and just you know, continue to work hard, uh, bring that passion every day. Um, but don't worry about that mistake. You know, just build off of it and, and try to make it, make a play the next time around. And then, other than the the pace and the passion, any other like really good things you saw that you're excited about here? I think our versatility. I think we can play a lot of different ways. Uh, we can go big. We can go small. Um, and so that was good to see. We threw a, a couple different combinations out there today that we've been working on in the summer. So um, yes, I, I would say this this group has a lot of versatility on, on both sides of the ball. You know, this summer when we spoke, you mentioned how the focus was kind of on starting the offense. You know, how did that go? Where are you at with that right now? And you know, what kind of you said you know defense was maybe something you were focusing on a little bit down the road. Is that kind of what you guys are focusing on now? Not the fact that it's better. Yeah, I, I was really happy with how our first summer went from a, an offensive information uh, process. And it does. It takes time. It's a very detailed, very delicate offense and. Uh, big on spacing, big, big on passing, and um, I think you know the players that we had um, returning, as well as the new players that were coming in, really fit to this style. So that has helped. Um, yes, we have spent most of the preseason working on our defense and, and implementing that. So um, it's been nice to go up and down and play on both sides of the ball. And um, we'll continue to build our defense. You know, we're nowhere near where we need to be, um, both offensively and defensively. But um, for the most part, very happy. Where we're at. Is there anybody that stood out to you from the freshman class and from the transfer group that you feel like picks things up quicker or do you feel like, you know, will take to the, take, be a main contributor right away? Yeah, I think they've all in their own way um, shown some really good things. Um, like I said, this freshman class is really talented and, and they all bring different elements to our team. Um, so that's really nice. You know, to those those are in different ways. Um, specifically, I, I would probably say Sarah Baker. Us. Um, and then, you know, our portal transfers, so dual walk-ins is, is just a really dynamic, special player uh, that can do it on both both sides of the ball. Um, and then Faith Bird, she brings a ton of energy, a ton of athleticism. Um, I would say those those three, probably individually, have, have really stepped up. And, you know, I know, obviously, Ben Castle with, with, the, with the leg blades. I mean, what is kind of her status, you know, going the ball? So Ashlyn's going to redshirt this year. Um, she'll be out for the year. Uh, lower leg injury um, has had, you know, a great recovery, great rehab so far. Um, and so, you know, this team has really rallied around her and supported her through that. Um, you know, so we're happy, you know, with where she's at right now. With the with the core group of returners that were, you know, part of, you know, last year's group. 
you know, they obviously they have to unload what they had and you know sure. learn the new system. You know, and how has that transition been, and is, was it like difficult at all trying to you know like maybe change some things that they were used to doing before and you know kind of tinkering things a little bit? Yeah, I don't think it's been difficult. I think they're one, they're unbelievable young women um, who have really bought into our system, bought into our staff. Um, they also are really eager to learn. So that's been has made this transition really really easy. So love their leadership, uh, love their eagerness, you know, to, to learn something new, and, and they want to win, and they want to compete, um, and they want to compete at a high level. Uh, but they also want to do it the right way, and they've been unbelievable teammates, um, and have really bought into our culture. You know, obviously, you kind of uh, discussed the up tempo, plus way you like you want to play offense, but. Is there any particular style you kind of gravitate to really defensively that you'd like to kind of stick with? Yeah, everybody's been asking me. Um, so I'm going to keep that one a secret uh, for now. But uh, I do think we're going to you know, play a lot of different ways defensively. You know, I've always played man, I've played zone, um, I've trapped, you know, I've pressed a little bit. So um, I'm going to keep that under wraps in, uh, probably until our first game. Uh, but yes, you know, like I said, this group can play a lot of different ways.